This is the new drop bear from Kaiser Knives, and this lock is about to change the access lock game. Since it's a brand new knife, I'm gonna give you a couple key specs, and I'm gonna show you why this thing's so special. The drop bear has a 154 cm drop point blade that comes in at 2.97 inches. It's got an aluminum handle that comes in at 4.17 inches for an overall length of 7.15 inches. It's got a two-way reversible deep carry tip-up pocket clip and stainless steel liners. As you guys know, I have a medium-sized hand, so this is what the drop bear looks like in my hand. Here it is next to the Benchmade Bugout, the Civivi Elementum, and the Wee Banter. There's gonna be two things you're gonna notice as soon as you get a drop bear in hand. The first thing is going to be the weight. The drop bear is not a heavy knife, but it's a substantial knife coming in at 3.68 ounces. The next thing that you're gonna notice is Kaiser's new clutch lock, which is what they're calling their Axis style lock. Now with the specs I've just given you at $119, it's a good little knife, good little package. But if you haven't taken the scales off, you really don't know what makes this thing special yet. Now onto the really good stuff, and that is the lock on the drop bear. So the lock on the drop bear is called the clutch lock. It is an awesome axis style lock, exactly what we would expect from a company like Kaiser. We've seen these before, but what sets the clutch lock apart is that it's actually adjustable. So it has five different tension settings that you change with the spring inside the scales. They're calling that spring a Gemini spring. And the thing that is really cool about this is it really changes some of the aspects of the Axis Lock ecosystem. It adds a level of personalization and customization that we honestly just haven't seen, especially not from factory, with any of the Axis style locks that we've seen out there yet. Now, obviously, Kaiser is inviting us into the knife, so we would hope that they've made it easy for us to get in there and work on it, and luckily, they have. So the knife scales sit on top of the stainless steel liners and they're held on with just two torque screws. So you have the torque screw at the back here and then you have the torque screw at the pivot. Now for me personally, taking apart knives is always just a little nerve wracking and that usually has to do with the locking mechanism on the knife or, and usually, the pivot on the knife. And Kaiser's thought about this as well. For the pivot, they've actually used a D-nut which means I can take one side of the pivot apart without having to consider the other side of the pivot at all, which means I don't need two Torx wrenches. I don't have to worry about trying to like double tighten both sides and get it just right. I can remove one whole side of the drop bear, adjust my Gemini springs, put it back together, and then remove the other side of my drop bear and put it back together. Now, obviously, at the end of the day, you're still gonna have to consider some of your blade centering and how tight you want your pivot, but it's not gonna be nearly the fight it would be if those two pivot screws were reliant on each other to be in the right area. So, with all of that said, I'm gonna take this thing apart and I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust the tension on your clutch lock. All right, we're gonna jump in here nice and easy. Like I said, we wanna do one side at a time. And like I, you can see right here, super easy to just take that pivot screw right out, set it to the side. And now we will remove the screw on the back of the scale, nice and easy. And then, the cool thing is, scale lifts right off, no big deal. And you can see inside the scale here that we have just a little bit of milling to make room for all the pieces of the liner, the Gemini spring, all of that. So we'll set that to the side, and then this gives you your first look inside of the drop bear. So you can see to this side that there is a barrel spacer back here that's held on a little torque screw here. So if you wanted to take the knife completely apart for any reason, you'd have to deal with that, and then obviously with the lock and things of that nature. But this is the really cool thing. Here's our Gemini spring, here's our clutch lock, and there are our five different adjustments and it's super easy to adjust. You just reach in, pull the end of your Gemini spring up, and set it on a different tension. And there you have it. It's literally that easy to get into your drop bear, adjust your clutch lock, and again, just kind of have a more personalized axis style lock. I don't know, it's just exciting to me. I like tinkering with things, I like messing with things, I like personalizing things, so it's really cool to see a company like Kaiser coming out with something like this. It's also really cool to just see something new in the Axis Lock ecosystem. Before we put it all back together, I'm actually gonna show you guys, um, there's a little baggie that Kaiser sends with the drop bear. It's got some extra hardware in it, 
and it actually comes with an extra set of Gemini springs. Because I know that some of you out there have had issues with like your Omega springs on your Benchmade access locks. I've personally have never broke a set of Omega springs ever. And I'm hard on my stuff. I've got a bunch of different Benchmade knives, but I know that it does happen. So I just wanted to give you guys a look at the Gemini spring here. So this is what it looks like off of the knife. And it'd be super easy to put that on or off just depending on what you needed to do. But they do send an extra set. So if you are the type of person that breaks Omega springs, um, you'll have a second set of Gemini springs if you need them. Uh, now, funny enough, I actually adjusted the satin bladed knife already to the first position, to the lightest position. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the black knife back to the fifth position so I can show you guys some differences between one and five. Obviously, there's a little minutia in between each one and you can play with those and see what you find the best, but I'll show you kind of what the full scope and range is. So I'm just gonna pick my Gemini spring up, put it back in my fifth hole here. And then we just set our scale back on and tighten her up. You know, and I'm really hoping to see more stuff like this from more manufacturers. It's kind of neat to start to see this change in the industry where manufacturers are almost inviting you to take the knife apart and do something custom with it. And I, and I think that has a lot to do with the aftermarket. I think a lot of these companies are seeing that there's a lot going on on the aftermarket and that they're kind of missing the boat if they're not making their knives, you know, moddable. And I'm a big fan of just making stuff my own, so I think that doing mods and putting your personal touch on things is really cool. I mean, speaking of aftermarket, there's probably a lot of potential for this Kaiser Drop Bear to have aftermarket scales. Obviously, there's quite a bit of work going on underneath the scale, but it would be cool to see some aftermarket stuff. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten that pivot up. I'm just gonna check my pivot tightness. I like that. I'm gonna check my blade centering. Probably just give her a little bit. And it's literally that easy to go in and adjust your Gemini spring on the clutch lock. Now, like I said, I've already adjusted the satin bladed knife to be at the loosest setting. And then we've got the black knife, as you saw, set at the tightest setting. So it's hard on camera to express exactly what the difference is. There is a huge difference between the two, but I actually think I can show you the difference um, with how the blades want to deploy. So just to give you a little bit of an a audio walkthrough, um, obviously a lot less tension on the first setting, really smooth buttery action, but what you are gonna get with that as well is you're gonna be able to have uh, and you can do this on other axis style lock knives, you're gonna have a deployment that you don't even need to use the thumb stud or the lock to open up. You can just use basically force and gravity and you can flip that thing open. The interesting thing to consider with this on the first setting is that, it, that the lock is just a little bit loose. So if you're carrying it in your pocket, no problem at all. If you're throwing it in a backpack, I mean, there's a chance that, that could definitely open up in a backpack. But if you want something that's just like real fidgetable, it's uh, definitely very nice and fidgety. And the cool thing is, is that you can adjust that type of deployment from one to five. So if you're looking for the type of deployment where you don't have to use the thumb stud or the lock, then you can adjust one through five to where you want that to be. That is what you get with it on the first setting. May not be for everybody, but it may be for some people out there. Now, on the fifth setting, obviously we're not gonna get any shake or anything like that out of the knife. And you get just a nice, solid feeling um, I would say standard feeling axis style lock feel. It's got nice tension to it. It's got a nice return, right? If you don't pull it all the way, it's not gonna completely drop all the way. And uh, yeah, so on the fifth setting, you're getting kind of your standard axis lock style experience with the clutch lock on this Kaiser drop bear. So now that you guys have a 10,000 foot view of the Kaiser drop bear and you understand why the clutch lock is so special, I wanna point out a couple of the intricacies that you may miss. And one of them actually starts with the name drop bear. So drop bear is like a mythical, aggressive, big koala that lives in Australia. It hangs out at night in trees and things like that nature. Another cool thing is that this knife was designed by Azo, who is a rock star designer over at Kaiser. You can see his social media tag somewhere on the screen right here. He designed the bag lighter and a ton of other cool designs. So it's really cool to see his name on the drop bear because it is such a unique and cool knife. 
And when we're talking about unique and cool, I really love the ergonomics of this knife. I really love the blade shape of this knife. And I really love how far up the spine the jimping goes. I love some good jimping that doesn't cause a hot spot. And the drop bear knocks that out of the park. And I think the final unique piece to look at on the drop bear obviously comes back to the clutch lock and the Gemini springs because it's not just that it's new and unique and it's an innovation on the axis lock, but it's also because when innovation like this happens on something that's standard or normalized, it usually means there's more innovation to come. And it's really cool to see Kaiser at the forefront of that. I would love to see more innovation on the axis lock. And I think that now that other companies and Kaiser themselves have seen that you can, we should start to see more unique things happening, which is kind of an exciting prospect. Thank you guys so much for following along. We'll catch you on the next one. Ah!